Hey everyone, welcome back. We are playing against Plop from Sweden, and uh, he's twenty-two eight. Not such a bad rating for someone named Plop. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting decision so far. And um, what can I say? Sometimes the opponents like to give me uh, heads. How do you call it? Um, a handicap. I guess this would fit. I know there is a better word for it. So a time handicap. Yeah, because they see that. Uh, that my name, they see the GM title next to my name and they think, oh, he probably doesn't know how to play so well. So let's just give him extra time. Okay, back to the game. I used to know the theory here, but that's all in the past. So let's develop the knights. Now this knight, this is, this is the, I guess, the key to the position. Where, are you, where I'm gonna put it? If I could put both of my pieces on e7, my life would be quite decent here. But I don't have a lot of squares, so I guess the knight belongs to h6. <gasps> Sorry, and the bishop to e7. And uh, yeah. What is this? Mm, okay, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Knight e2 is preparing d4. But I'm uh, not afraid of d4. I think I have some tactics also. Yeah, okay, let's see. If he plays d4, I wanted to take and, and give check at the end. And this is far from scary. At least uh, it's my first impression. Mm. g6 or d4? Which one? Which is the one? Also, also knight h4 actually. Hmm. Okay, let's go knight h4. I like this move. This knight on g3 is a bit misplaced. And if I exchange this knight, it's gonna be a bit difficult for him to establish control on the d4 square. Which is probably the key to the position. If he if he cannot uh, put a pawn here, then uh, he won't uh, grab the space and uh, then black will be fine. Or more. So, yeah. All right, so let's see. He's thinking a lot. I wonder why it takes him so much time. Maybe he's streaming as well. Okay, d3, humble. Let's go bishop e7. Although g6 would also make a lot of sense. And uh, now he wants to trick me, but I don't think he can. I will castle. Point is that if he takes and takes, I have queen a5 check. And I think I will uh, be well off in that position. So, yeah. But he, this allows knight f3. Uh, this guy is uh, playing uh, interesting style. He has an interesting style of chess. Okay. I guess taking would open the file in front of my king. So let's just go crazy on the queen side. Oh, but I forgot about his threat. He wanted to take and take on c5. So b6 would have been a bit less crazy. A bit less uh, on the queen side. But uh, yeah, b6 was the move. If he takes on h4 now, maybe d4 would be more fitting. And uh, not giving up all my black squares, my dark squares. And then at least I have some compensation. Okay. Oh, he didn't even want to to remain a pawn up. How lovely. Okay. Exchanging the dark square bishops might be a good idea. But not in this game. This guy was hanging. This square is suffering. Hmm. Where can I put my pieces?
Let's go knight b4 first. I want to go bishop b7 and then knight b4, but I don't like the knight f6 uh, discover check. So, yeah, now my point was maybe to play knight d5. Not sure if it's very good. Mm. Okay, let's do it. C4. Hmm. As mentioned, this guy is playing interesting chess. Very concrete so far. How can I try to avoid his ideas? He wants to take here and he wants to play c4. Maybe I can play c4 myself. I guess it makes sense. It feels a bit wrong, but... Yeah, the problem is that if I defend it with a move like queen c7, he has c4 himself and then I have to sack the exchange, which was probably a, a better solution to play for the initiative. Yeah, c4 is a bit, uh, I would say, like playing like a chicken, yeah? But, okay, no harm, no fall. The game goes on. What can we do now? What to do? What to do now? Okay, I guess. Mm. It's hard. Okay. Can't afford to spend all my time on this position. Oh, this guy is playing uh, interesting moves. Queen c7. But then b6. Okay, let's just take just take my pawn. You know what? Take it. And I'll play queen c7 then. Hmm. <sighs> Okay, now that you give me a chance, I might defend it. Once again, not an easy task to defend this. I guess I should play something solid. Or at least attempt. One minute left, so I'm switching to bullet mode. I hope you can hear me well, by the way. Because I'm not gonna talk anymore. It's very important to have a good sound. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Maybe I can sing instead. I'm having time pressure. All right. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. My queen is almost trapped, but not quite yet. Okay, a6. Okay, it's not ideal for me, but I have to do something. Yeah, there's a lot of nice pawns. Okay, but not a lot of time. Let's go here. See what's happening. Oh, this is far from Hi, easy. Honey. Far from easy stuff taking place. Uh, let's go here. Okay. Uh, where can I go to attack him?
Come on. I don't see a single move. Well, this was a bad choice. But uh, a winning move nevertheless. So, Queen d4, a great winning move. Conf so bad that it confused him uh, that he had no choice but to lose on time. I'm sure a better... Uh, no offense to you, Plop, but uh, a player like Nakamura would probably find Rook takes a8 and Rook c8. And uh, with plus 120, according to this computer, at some point, uh, would be satisfying enough for a win, even with 6 seconds. Not, I'm not guaranteeing I would have uh, done it with white, but certainly a qualified uh, top-level bullet player. Okay, bad game on my part, but a win nevertheless. So up to this point I'm quite confident in my position. Let's have a quick look at the game. Knight h4. Awesome move. I'm very proud of this one. Unfortunately, that's the main thing to be proud of. Queen b6 would have been great. Yeah. I should feel uh, such uh, moments more. Yeah, it's very important to play active. I know I promised in the previous video, but I keep forgetting to keep my promises. Queen b6. Active play and it's disorienting is uh, queen side a little bit. And if he moves the queen to defend it, then knight takes f3, f3, and I can castle long perhaps and avoid uh, the g file hunting me. Okay, in the game, queen d2 was very interesting. Now d4 was plus 2 at f some point, but I guess the computer just didn't reach a high depth. Yeah, knight takes f3 is definitely interesting but scary. With rook g1 coming for me. b5. Such a silly move. b6 instead might have been more solid, but... Yeah. I guess taking an f6 makes a lot of sense. Yeah, f6 to undermine the center immediately. This was the key moment. Um, yeah, d4 was a powerful positional move. Bishop h4 is just accepting uh, defeat on the dark squares. And bishop f2 was correct. On his part very strong play by my opponent and bishop b7 wasn't necessarily so good c4 w wasn't as well yeah b takes c4 and knight b6 something is wrong with me today i mean how can i not find this simple move i was afraid of knight f6 but it's clearly not working i'm taking the two pieces for the rook yeah now queen c7 c4 and just going along with some sacrifice would have been very, very nice. But instead I chose to suffer. Yeah. But I have no one else to blame by myself. AB6, okay. It's not so easy. So, very powerful game by Plop from Sweden, from Russia, from Germany. Something along these lines, you see? No, Sweden. No, this was the other guy. The previous guy was from many countries. Not this video. Forget it. Um, CB5, Queen A5. Okay, my position is completely lost. His technique was very close to perfect. And uh, yeah. And Queen B4, once again, the winning move. Nice stuff. And he lost on time. Uh, and we are approaching 2500 uh, once again. So I hope you learned something from this very interesting and uh, I would say controversial game. And um, if you want to learn some more then uh, keep watching the next videos.